Hey, what's up you guys? Mr. J coming at you with a movie review of Terminator Gen Genocide. C plus, I give this movie. Why I give this movie a C plus? Because I never saw the, uh, the last two, or the last three, or the TV show that came out for a second there. Because this movie ties into a lot of that, and at times the movie confuses you. Now, i seen the first two. I mean, I was a kid of the first two, the 1984 one and the T2 Judgment Day. But the last two in that TV show, it all, it, the director, he, he tied all of the movies in one and made you and wanted you to understand where this was all leading up to. What all of the, those previous movies were leading up into this big one right here. And it made it a little confusing. Especially considering that I didn't, or if you haven't seen the last three or two, makes it a little confusing. The, um, the names, John Connor, Sarah Connor, uh, you know, from the previous films are in there, but it's not the same actor. So that's what also makes it confusing too. I mean, you can kind of remember because they, they bring up certain plots and scenes to make you say, oh, okay. That's from part one or that's from part two. But then other times are you like, okay, I get it. He's a machine. He's a robot. Okay. And it, it, yeah. If you're a big Terminator fan, go right ahead and enjoy it. Enjoy it. I did not look and see how long this movie was. This movie is going up against Magic Mike Double XL and Jurassic World, which is still number one at the box office. And I'm not sure if Magic Mike or the Terminator will knock out, happy 4th of July by the way, uh, Jurassic World out the number one spot. We'll see. Okay, that's my take. That's how I feel about the movie. I'm taking this movie. We're taking about, what, 40 million this coming 4th of July weekend? Who knows? We'll see, right? Till next time, y'all. Peace.